going on guys this is dropping like it's scott and it's a head hot sweaty mess of a day right now some people say high point is complete and utter garbage a lot of other people would say that this particular company that i am doing the review on would also say not nice things about it however i'm going to differ with you on this one today and as you saw in the thumbnail it is a pistol from SCCY, also known as Sky Firearms. I saw them at SHOT Show, and I talked to one of the guys over there, and I said, hey, tell me a little bit about your pistols. What makes them different? How, how can you make them budget-friendly? Because they're sub-250, $300 guns, and they're perfect for the somebody who needs, a, needs to get a pistol, home defense, carry, whatever it is. You need something, and you don't have a huge budget to spend, this is a good company to go through. Now they used to have their triggers used to be really, 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 really heavy, but they've made some upgrades. And this is one of their upgrades. This is the Sky Firearms Drop It Like It's Scott custom pistol. They made me a custom pistol. And you know what? A lot of people will say, well, they made you a custom pistol, so now you gotta talk nice about them. You know what? I don't have to, I get to. They have come a long way in their pistols and in their guns. And they engraved my logo on there, which is kind of cool. A couple things that I really didn't care for at the beginning when I first started uh, looking at Sky Firearms and kind of, I've done some reviews about them. Their triggers were really, really heavy. Almost like a 10, nine, 10 pound pull. But what I want to do now is I want to show you a little bit about this pistol before we get further involved. Now we are clear, there's nothing inside this pistol. It is empty. All your controls, your mag release, and your slide release are only on the left side of the pistol. The trigger guard is really slim line. It's not like so like bulky down. It doesn't come all the way down and inter interfere with your fingers here. It's got the little finger grooves, which I kind of like. Kind of gives it a little bit of place to grip onto. And the magazines have the little pinky extension magazines that come with it to where you can grip it on the bottom. Really cool, I like that. And some things that they've changed and made better is the trigger. The trigger, it's a flat-faced, flat-faced, not 90 degree trigger, but a flat-faced trigger that allows you to have a better pull. Here is the trigger. You know I like showing off triggers. All the way to the wall, and then your, your crisp, clean break. And here is your release and your reset. It is a full reset, so there, there you have it. It's not that bad of a trigger. So we're gonna put some rounds through this because I haven't shot it yet. I want to see exactly how well this thing, how this well this thing operates. It does have your basic white sights on the front and on the back. It does have front serrations and back serrations. Now the test is to shoot it and see how well it does. We are pretty fairly good distance away from our steel targets. I want you guys to take a look at this pistol. You tell me what you think in the comments section below. Not bad. It's got some jump to it, but again, it's a very short pistol. It's a very, like a three inch barrel. Very short, very snappy pip pistol, because it's a good budget pistol for somebody who needs a good budget pistol. 
This is the Sky Firearms 9mm pistol, DVG1 from Sky Firearms. Check them out. Tell them drop it like a Scott sent you. And if you need if you need of a good budget pistol, go for it. I give it a little bit of approval. I give it a lot of approval. Not a bad little pistol. This is Drop It Like It Scott. Enjoy your day. Enjoy the journey. Until next time.